Yo, what's going on, people? It's your boy Detroit King Pan coming at you with another video, man. I had to keep doing these videos, man, but I gotta keep doing them, man. It's always somebody getting pulled over, getting killed, and it seems like they're always an African American or a uh, black. If you ask me, man, is I, I, this is all I'm seeing, man? Is and I, I don't know if I'm the only person that's seeing this, and you know, like. I'm not like the rest of these other YouTubers, man, that's sitting up here making videos, man, about shit that they never experienced, they don't know about, man. I have actually have been into run-ins with the cops before and, and ended up getting my nose broke, getting getting my mouth busted, getting, almost getting my leg broke, bruised up, beat down, and threw in a cell, man, right in Toledo, Ohio, man. For real, so I know what it's like to come in contact with the police and then have a, a bad situation happen, man. For real, man. But I'm gonna give y'all my my opinion on what happened after the video, and I'm I'm gonna do my commentary through the video. But this right here, this video that I'm gonna show y'all, this is the actual footage of the when he got pulled over and what happened, man. So I'm gonna narrow right in. We're gonna watch it together, man. Right here on Lionheart TV. But before I need y'all to do me one favor, and y'all know what that is. Y'all know what it is. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell so you know every time your boy drop another banger. You feel me? Let's get into it. Around 2 p.m. local time Sunday, police pulled over right. The police chief says they stopped Dante Wright because he had an expired registration on his license plate. Come the on, release man. footage so begins what? minutes into the stop and shows police walking up to the car and then Wright is seen stepping out of his vehicle. Police then tried to take Wright into custody after discovering he has an outstanding warrant. The video shows Wright begins to resist okay. as cuffs are placed on him and he gets back into the vehicle. Okay, boom. All right, hold up. All right. Boom. I'm watching this video right here. They, they already had the gun out. They weren't even trying to do no taser or nothing like that. Because if you was going to try to do a taser, you would pull the taser out first. And and let's not forget that we're dealing with a 20-year-old man. And I've seen his pictures. I don't know how, how big he is or how tall he is. He looks small, like probably around him. 120, 150. Come on, man. Y'all, y'all, what y'all, man? Come on. Taser him. He gonna, come on. You already had the gun out. You never thought about Taser him. Stop. As I watched the video popped and to the officer's commands, it is my belief that the officer had they the intention him, to bro. deploy their Taser. She shot it, Sandy. He shot Mr. Wright with a single bullet. Popped him. This appears to me, Hi. from what I viewed and the officer's reaction and distress immediately after, that this was an accidental discharge. Get the fuck out of here, bro! Hold on, 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 hold on. Man, come on, man. Come on, y'all, man. Come on, man. Tired of this shit, man. For real, man. Let me get, let me get close up so the camera so y'all can see my face, man. For real. Tired of this shit. For real, man. And this is the shit that pissed me the fuck off because, like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all, you know, supposed to be uh, protecting and uh, protecting good and all of that. Honor and all of that. Honor is something that you, when you wrong, you stand up for it. That's what I have my honor is. If you wrong, you admit that you wrong. That wasn't no accidental shit. She, they already had the pistol wall. You know what the yo yo Glock feel like that you go to the target practice with every day. You know what that feel like, and you know what that little plastic or that little taser feel like. You know where it's at and all of that. You know where it's at on your belt and all that. So stop the bullshit. For real, I'm tired of the lies, man, and all of this media shit. We ain't doing this all right here on Lionheart TV, man. On news and none of this shit here. You're going to get it raw and real. It's real, man. I'm tired of this shit. We need to do something about these goddamn police, man. That's killing motherfuckers for no fucking reason. There was no reason for that young man to die that day, man. 
And that's real, man. And what I'm hearing right now is bullshit. So cut the bullshit. But Mr. Wright, the officer is currently on administrative leave. Wright drove why? several blocks before if hitting she another was vehicle, right, why is she on to police. Leave? Police and medical personnel attempted life-saving measures Let following the, the crash, on, but Y'all Wright talking. died at the scene. Wright's mother, Katie, on, told CNN affiliate Care TV she was on the phone with her son before the shooting. It's unclear to CNN how Katie Wright knew police had hung up the phone. Protests erupted in a suburb outside they Minneapolis the in the aftermath what, of the shooting. The cover what y'all Hundreds doing? taking to the streets Sunday night. All of these police, man, police. they not protecting the nobody, Guard man. Was also they not protecting nobody, man. They not protecting no black males, man. When they pull a black male over, it ain't no protecting, man. It's kill time, man. Over something that we do every day, drive our cars, then go where we gotta go, minding our own business. As a black male, you got to feel like just from doing that, just from wanting to get you a bag of chips or whatever, going to get you a pack of cigarettes or whatever you go and get from the store, or going to get some groceries or taking the kids somewhere, you got to have in the back of your mind, hell, if I get pulled over, shit, I might just be fucking dead over a fucking nothing, a warrant, or, or a spire tag. You shouldn't have to feel that way, man, in America, man, somewhere where we pay taxes and we have our amendments. But to them, we ain't shit but animals. And I'm keeping it real on this channel. The scene. The situation turned violent. Crowds marching toward the Tell police department up. swarmed police cars and started destroying them. Police Tell moved in the to disperse the crowds. The chief of police also said bricks and frozen soda cans were Fuck thrown em. at officers, injuring one who was taken to the hospital. Fuck them. And while one group stayed at the police department, a second group of protesters yeah, went to a all of that shit now. The all of that broken shit into now. and looted. We recognize that this Burn that shit the fuck down. down. The city of Brooklyn Center is only about 10 miles from where former police officer Derek Chauvin is on trial for the killing of George Floyd. Why? The chief what of the police fuck? says he released the footage to be tra- What? You fired! You fired! You fired, man. Don't even come back to the office, man. Just go home, man. You done. We already dealing with this shit over George Floyd. The goddamn idiot, racist ass motherfucker had his neck, knee on his neck. It's not protocol making a fool of himself about to go to jail. And then if he get off, man, y'all ain't gonna have a seat. We just keep it all the way funky, as y'all say. For real, bro. If, if he get off on that trial, it ain't going to be the city here no more. Y'all fucking all the way up, man. The police are supposed to know, man. When y'all came to eat y'all donuts in the morning, whatever y'all do, and y'all little snitch meetings that y'all do, hey, chill out, man, on doing all this hot-ass shit that we've been doing forever, man. It's, we we, we done already paid all of this money. Man, eat y'all donuts and just, you know, be chill for a minute, man. Lay low for a minute. Hell no, nah. they still shooting the motherfucker, so fuck them. Transparent and became emotional when I asked what was on his heart. Man. I'm the leader of this department. They expect me to lead. Create a safe city. That's what I'm trying to do. Man, you're not leading, man. Somebody just well, got killed again under your leadership. You're not yeah. no fucking leader. You and, ain't uh, shit. Yeah, I'm emotional. You ain't shit. Adrian, for the officer who who shot Dante Wright, what is their status in the department? Are they still on active duty? The officer who shot Dante Wright is on administrative leave, but members of the community are calling for her to be fired. And they're also asking, they say demanding, the chief of police in Brooklyn Center resign. Yes! Yes! On. yes. Spoke in an Two incredibly killers. compelling interview with our colleague Bye, Lennon, about fired, her bro. nephew, about what happened. And if I'm the president, I'm making that call. Hey, man, that nigga's down, man. And if I got to come down there, y'all all Everybody's gone. hurt. This Look at this dude, man. man. A little 20 year old kid, man. Loving on the force, going he to Chaney, going to all of this shit. And y'all can't handle this little dude, man? <laughs> how wh- how can I explain that? I can't explain it. My family is hurt. You've seen his mother. And, and, and for one minute, y'all, don't forget that my brother, he's there as well, his father. This is not a broken home. This is not a broken home. 
Not everybody be feeling like that shit, years. man. That's all I be doing, man. Over everybody don't feel years, like that, man. They've been together. My brother has been there. Please do not disregard his feelings because my brother is in pain. Uh, I'm in pain sure for real. I ain't gonna even lie, bro. I got chills going mistake. through my body right now, man. Watch she intended to use I ain't gonna even lie. <laughs> you don't want to know. You really don't want to know what I felt. Right or two. But I'm gonna tell you like this. You know the difference from a fully loaded pistol versus a stun gun. You know the difference. And if you're a police officer, you should know that. I think that camera, I saw she hit Come on, man. In front of her. Come on. Come on. That's what I... Come on. Come on. You put that gun in the same spot every day. You put that taser on the spot every day. You play with it in the mirror, doing all of this shit. You play with it in, in target practice. You know what the fuck did that taser feel like from a fucking gun, man? You wanted to kill her, man. Stop the games, man. Her for a little while. She, you mean to tell me she didn't see it? But, but let me ask y'all something. How would y'all feel if y'all got the call that that was your nephew? Right. How if would y'all feel? Son? That's a... Come on, man. If that, if that was, was your, your people, bro. I feel How like it was my feel? people. For real. And then to sit here and people are trying to drag my nephew's name through the dirt. It don't mean nothing. It don't mean nothing. He didn't deserve to die. My I don't nephew care what he did, bro. He didn't want to go. He loved bro. his family and we loved him. They hurt, man. An accident? An accident? No, come on nah, now. No, that wasn't no accident, man. Everybody in this world that wasn't no accident. Gun. You mean to tell me you thought it was a taser? Come on, man. Oh, I say. Out of the, all of the lame ass shit that you can think of. All of the lame ass shit that you can think of. Or excuses that y'all could have came up with at the motherfucking police station where y'all eat all of those fucking donuts on the taxpayer money and all of that drinks and all of them fucking um, coffees and all of that shit. And y'all kill us when we pay y'all salary. And y'all, all y'all all do is kill us, man. Y'all don't know the fucking difference from a fucking taser and a goddamn gun? Come on. They don't feel nothing like a gun. Nothing like a gun. No, I don't. No toast taser feel like a goddamn gun. How would y'all feel if y'all got that call? A gun is way heavier than a fucking taser, man. My brother is my heart. Katie is my heart. They took my man's life from him. My grandma now grow up not even knowing, not even being able to touch his father. You tell me, is it our right to take somebody's life over uh, 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 what, a misdemeanor warrant? Just for a misdemeanor weed? warrant. These politicians out here smoking weed. They ain't dead. Right. What you the fuck? These- what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Man. Man. <sighs> These motherfuckers, man. Then went into the goddamn grocery store, unloading on innocent people, shot in the leg. This motherfucker that went to a couple massage parlors, still alive, nothing wrong with him. Probably eating, watching cable right now. He decided he ain't want to go to jail that day. Simple and plain as that. Got in the car, tried to skirt off or, you know, get away. Didn't do nothing. Mr. Meter warrant, bad tag on the car. Air fresheners in a, in a, on a mirror. 
That's why this this why man like like y'all gonna have to learn the hard way. America gonna have to learn the hard way. And that's all I gotta say. People that just shot up the man that killed them Asian women. May they rest in soul. May they rest in peace. You got the people at the grocery store. You got the people in Bryan, Texas. You mean to tell me all three of them is still living? But my nephew was dead? Because now they want to use the, the justification of it was a mistake. You don't mistake a stun gun from a gun. You don't mistake that. If I made a mistake like that, I'll be in the jail cell. They'll be trying to put me under it. This not fair. We got several police officers and all in our family. I don't have nothing bad to say about them, but what I got to say is she needs to pay for what she did to my family. My family's blood is on their hands. My brother and my sister is hurting. How do we put life back together after this? Some people say, oh, it's God's plan. That was not God's plan. There's no peace in this. Say his name. Keep saying his name. My nephew did not deserve this. Dante Wright did not deserve this. Katie Wright, Aubrey Wright, they did not deserve this. Joining us now, CNN law enforcement analyst Charles Ramsey and CNN legal analyst Joey Jackson. Uh, Chief, what do you say to that? I mean, what do you say to, to Naisha Wright, who says, my nephew, Dante Wright, did not deserve this? What do you say to that anguish, to that exhaustion we're hearing from her? There is nothing you can say that will make up for the pain and the loss that she feels right now. Absolutely nothing you can say. Um, I've taken a hard look at the video to see exactly what took place, and she's right. I mean, there is a difference between a handgun and a uh, taser, uh, assuming they're using the model um, uh, taser, uh, not just in the weight and the size of it, but also the, uh, the taser, which is a, a conducted electro electrical device, has a yellow, bright yellow handle. Everything uh, I just said, man. And you when know, you look at the tape, you'll you know see one of the officers on their weak side. You see this flash of yellow. That's their taser. Uh, again, another way to distinguish that from the handgun. But there were some tactical errors that were made in this, which I can get into if you would like. But there is absolutely nothing you can say that will lessen the pain that she feels and also that community. Joey Jackson, why on earth? Was he even taken out of the car, told to get out of the car? I mean, the details that we know now for expired tags, expired tags that the police chief of Brooklyn Center admitted yesterday in the press conference, he and his staff knew there was a two or three month delay in getting those tags from the DMV, even if you'd already bought them. Because oh Guess what happened to me when I got pulled over for expired tags, right? Yeah. It, it, it's unbelievable that this aggressive tactic was taken from the beginning for that. Yeah, it really is. Good morning, Poppy, John, Howdy, Chief all, Ramsey. Man. Listen, I think the answer to your question lies in something we call discretion. And when you're on the street and you're doing your job, it's important that you exercise that discretion in a way that favors life, in a way that values the sanctity of life. We've heard that testimony, right, just last week from the very chief who is in charge of that department, talking about the values of the department and uh, what they should That shit is bullshit. Talking about the work and the Then he go home and pound his fucking beer. And you look at that, uh, and it's totally, and it's what totally he do. counter to that. And I think there has to be some recognition Fire. and understanding that, that the, end here, of the bullet is a person whose life had meaning, value, and significance. Dante Wright, a son, a brother, a nephew, a friend, so many things to so many. And so, you know, it's part of a whole larger discussion. Man. Oh, 
don't think there's no more, man, that I, I could even say, man, that they haven't said shit is. It's, it's, it don't make, it's not, not, nothing makes sense, man, here except for this man is dead for almost really nothing, for real. Like some little, little ass shit. And it's real killers out in jail right now with a warm blanket. Just ate child about to call it night. And that's only one difference between Mr. Wright and them. Y'all tell me what it is, man. Let me know what y'all think about it in the comment section, man. I'm tired of even doing this video, man. Like, man. I'm out of here, man. Peace.